do 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 Hey, how's it going? It's Nancy Gammon. Do you suffer from plain, boring underskivvies? Don't be embarrassed. I used to have the same problem, but it's easy to fix. In this video, I'll show you how. We'll create colorful one-of-a-kind underpants using powdered dye and melting ice. The supply list for this project is a little bit long, so I'll put all the details in the video description. But I'm starting out here with my dyeing setup. I have a plastic tub and then I have a cooling rack propped on top, the, the kind that you use to when you bake cookies. So I have 100% cotton boxer shorts and I'm going to try and experiment to see if I can get stripes onto the shorts. So I'm just going to fold this pair in half. I think what's going to happen is that it's going to get stripes on the, on the bottom where it's near the metal. And then as it gets closer to the top, I think it will just move into being more abstract. But I have four pairs of boxer shorts since I'm getting ready for a sales event. And I'm just going to layer them up here on the rack. And when I put on the ice and the dye, it's just going to melt through all of the layers and dye all of the fabric as it goes down through. So I have four pairs here. There's the top one. And then I'm just going to cover the whole thing with a damp protective cloth. And this will keep any of the powdered dye from leaving spots on the fabric. And then I'm going to coat it with a layer of ice cubes. And I'm gonna sprinkle the powdered dye on top. So you do wanna wear a dust mask while you're doing this. I'm going to start out with this color called Elven Lily. And then I'm going to add on some Kingfisher Blue. This is kind of a mermaidy, sprucey color. And then I'm going to finish up with Cerulean Blue, which is a nice. Ooh, got a lot on there. A nice um, deep oceany blue. And I like the way that these three colors combine together. I think I'm gonna try and sneak on a couple more ice cubes here. This setup's a little bit precarious, but we'll try and get the edges here where the waistband is and maybe I'll do the same thing over on the other side we'll get a little more color over there Now the whole project needs to sit overnight, 22, 24 hours. So go ahead and find a way to entertain yourselves. Alrighty, let's see what we have here. So this project has been sitting for about 22, 24 hours, somewhere in there. Um, I did go ahead and put a towel around the plastic bin because ice cubes were just kind of falling off. And after it had melted down a little bit, while you weren't looking, I put rows of ice cubes again just at the ends and sprinkled on a little more powdered dye on each side because I had peeked underneath and it looked like the dye wasn't really making it through all those layers of elastic the way that I wanted it to. 
so now we will have a reveal oh my goodness <gasps> yum 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 <sighs> and we'll take a look at how these under skivvies turned out so I'm just gonna set things aside here oh and wipe up my mess and we'll see the reveal of these beautiful beautiful underpants and find out whether or not my experiment worked and we get stripes on the bottom one so here is the top one and those look delicious and here's the second one under equally delightful maybe a little pale in the you know where okay and then here's the third one things are still going well a little little white up at the waistband but not too bad a little white on the back there too and then here's the last one we'll see if we got some stripes I guess it did it did looks like it did work a little bit on this one side we've got some stripes going on here don't see much on the other side on the back there's maybe a little bit of a hint so sort of worked but um, I really love this color combination so I'm gonna call all of these a success um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these to the sink. I'm going to rinse them in cold water until the water runs clear. So I'm going to get as much of the dye out that way as I can. Then I'm going to wash them in hot water with a special kind of detergent called textile detergent. And that's designed to really pull out any remaining loose dye um, so that the, the fabric is nice and clean and set. And then I'm going to rinse them in cold water with a sploosh of fixative called Retain. And then at that point, they'll be color fast. Whoops, there goes my rack. Um, they'll be color fast and uh, they can be washed in the washing machine in cold water and tossed into the dryer. So if you'd like more details about that whole process, please see my video, How to Make Kaleidoscope Dyes. And I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one so that you can reach it easily. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do all that rinsing and washing and then I'll get back with you to show you the finished boxer shorts. Alrighty, here are the finished under skivvies. They've been rinsed, washed, fixed, dried, and ironed because everybody loves freshly pressed boxer shorts. I'm really pleased with how the colors turned out. And here's that last one that was down by the rack. So it has a little bit of lines along one side in the front there. Pretty plain on the back. Don't see too much of the lines on there. And there we go. You're ready for a party in your pants. Hey listen, if you like the idea of eye-catching undies, but you don't have time to make some yourself right now, head on over to my website at nancygammon.com where you can check out the current selection of handmade goodies. Do 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 do